Okay, welcome back to King Online Trading School. If this is the first time you'll be watching this analysis, make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to activate the bell icon. And for those who are stumbling, who just stumble on our on our channel for the first time, if you are into forex trading, crypto trading, binary option, and stock, this channel is a channel you want to stick to. So feel free to browse through. And feel free to check all our videos. There are a bunch of uh, quality videos that can help to better your trading career. So feel free to check them out and don't forget to activate the bell icon. So guys, once again, I want to apologize for not being able to put up the analysis for the last week. It was due to unplanned shadow that took me away out of my station but i think everything is, is is all right right now so let's get started with this with this week analysis so for those who are watching this for the first time what you are looking right in front of you is called the king strategy this strategy is the combination of moving averages stochastic and rsi and if you really want to learn more about this strategy, make sure you watch this video to the end. There's, there's a video link that teaches more about this strategy on how to enter the parameters, the trade condition, and every other thing you need to know concerning this strategy. And more so, we also have several videos about this strategy where you can also pick a sniper entry strategy, which means you can uh, you can enter a trade with little little stop loss and high reward. So feel free to check them out. Okay, so let's get started with this week analysis. This week analysis is between Monday 25th of April to Friday 29th of April 2022. Monday 25th of April to Friday 29th of april 2022 okay so guys let's get started the first thing i'm going to be taking a look at right now is aud usd okay so according to h1 and h4 aud usd is currently sell buyers and quickly guys it's important to let you know that we take our entry on h1 so we'll be analyzing from the weekly down to, to H1, which is our entry time frame. So take note of that. So the, this first page shows that AUD USD is currently sell buyers, which means we are we need to look for a sell. So according to the weekly candle, the weekly candle closed in bearish candle. So this tells us that AUD USD see have the room to push to the downside so our projection for this is found right at this yellow support at 0 0.6981 so that's going to be our weekly target for AUD USD so the daily candle also close in the a bearish candle and this is a momentum candle right now we are, we expect this to also push down towards this blue support that's going to be for that is the daily target for this pair. So for this, we expect AUD USD to push down towards these two supports in the in, uh, in this coming week. So according to H1 and H1, which is our entry time frame, we need to wait for this pullback, wait for the retracement, and enter the trade when it turns around to the downside. So, and the first probably should be taken before the blue support at 0 0.7158 that's going to be the first target while the second target is found at the weekly support at the yellow support at 0 0.6981 so AUD USD is good for a sell this is going to be a good trade i'm going to be looking out for this coming week so the next one we'll talk about is AUD card AUD card according to H1 and H4, it is currently sell biased. So the weekly candle, the same formation we've seen on AUD US is what we are seeing on AUD card. So we're expecting AUD card on the weekly time frame to drop down to the yellow support at 0 
Obviously, this may not take one week to, for this pair to drop down to this yellow support, but this is the overall view we are looking at. Okay, so the daily candle also closed in red, and this is a bearish momentum candle, and we expect this to drop a little bit more towards the blue support at 0 0.9171, which is found right, right at this untested uh, demand. So this is going to be our Fox our daily target. So coming into the entry time frame, we wait for the pullback to happen, all right? Wait for the pullback to happen and catch your entry once the trade turns around to the downside. So the blue support right here at 0 0.9171 will be our first target. And if this level get broken right here, we'll be adding to the yellow support which is at 0 0.8970, okay? So AUD card, this is also a good trade to look out for a sell. So AUD Swiss franc, according to H1 and H4, AUD Swiss franc is currently sell by us. So the weekly candle, we see the weekly candle close uh, in red with some with a huge rejection from the upside to the downside. So this is a signal telling us that this is going to drop a little bit before we can see any reversal. So we're expecting AUD Swiss franc to drop down to this support right here, which is known as, which is at this price at 0 0.6818. Okay, that is gonna be our weekly support for AUD Swiss franc. So, and the daily support is found right at 0 0.6893, which is our this blue support right here. So we expect this pair to at least drop down to this support before we can see any further move, uh, rev any reversal or more push down. But we expect this to push down towards this 120 moving average, which is also at the same level with the yellow support. So AUD Swiss franc, we are to look for is sell. So we need to just wait for this to pull back a little bit, then catch the trade on its way down and take the first profit before the blue support right here, which is at 0 0.6893. And if that level get broken, we'll be adding to the yellow support at 0 0.6818. So AUD Swiss franc, look for a sell. Look for a sell on AUD Swiss franc, Euro AUD. Euro AUD, according to H1 and 4, this is currently by buyers. So the weekly candle, we see the weekly candle close in green, a bullish momentum candle. So we expect this to push up some more during this coming week. So our weekly target for AUD, Euro AUD is seen right at uh, this yellow resistance at 1.5332. Okay, that's going to be our weekly target for euro AUD. So coming into the daily candle, we also see this close in the in green, and this is also a bullish momentum candle. So this is a double signal indicating to us that more upside is, going to, is still going to come on euro AUD. So our weekly target is also seen at the same area right there, okay? So we will be expecting euro AUD to push up to this yellow resistance at 1.5332, okay? So this is going to be a long distance and we expect uh, to take several profit right before it gets to the destination. So Euro AUD, we wait for the pullback on the entry time frame and catch the buy entry on its way up, all right? Catch the buy entry on its way up. So, and the first profit is gonna be right at this blue, resistance at 1.4937. And if this level get broken, then we'll be adding all to the yellow resistance at 1.5332. So Euro AUD, this is gonna be a good trade to look out for a buy, all right? So Euro Swiss franc, according to uh, H1 and four, it is currently buy buyer. So the weekly candle, we see this close in green. So this tells us that more upside is most likely going to come. So we're expecting Euro Swiss franc to push up to the yellow resistance at 1.0594 during this coming week. And the daily, the daily candle, as we can see, the daily 
Kandu is currently sitting right at the daily resistance. So right here, we are expecting this level to get broken for price to keep pushing up to the weekly target. But there are, there's every, uh, every other tendency that this level is going to get broken. But until then, we want to be able to see what is going to happen. So coming into the entry time frame, the pullback has already happened and the cross is about to happen. Once the cross happens, take your buy entry to the upside and the first profit should be taken before the blue resistance, which is seen at the daily resistance at 1.0391. So that's going to be our weekly, uh, sorry, daily target for euro Swiss franc. And if this level get broken, that is when we take more entry to target the weekly, weekly resistance. All right. So euro swiss franc it's also good to look for a buy euro swiss franc look for a buy euro jpy according to h1 and h4 this is currently buy bias so the weekly candle close in green but right now this is currently sitting at the at the significant uh resistance right here so anything can happen and we are going to wait to see what is going to happen but according to H1 and 4, this is currently sell bias. So coming to the weekly candle, so we expect this to also push up a little bit towards this yellow resistance at 143.73. So that's going to be our weekly target for Euro JPY. So the daily target is seen right at this same level where we have the blue resistance at. 140.92, but honestly, we expect a turnaround to happen right from here. At least a big pullback towards the towards the red uh, red moving average. So that's it. this may take a few days to get there. So, but we're going to see what is going to happen right now. So right now, we can see this is currently buy bias according to H1 and H4. If this is to cross to the upside. It will be good to take a buy, and the first profit should be taken before the blue resistance at 140.92. But guys, we need to be careful with this trade. Okay, we need to be careful because anything can happen. All right, so this is not a it does not have a good hold. So be careful with this very one. But according to H1 and 4, it is currently buy buyer. Yeah. So look for a buy on Euro JPY. Euro NZD is currently by bias according to H1 and 4. So the weekly candle, we also see this close in the bullish momentum candle. So this is a strong evidence for us to see that this is going to keep pushing up during this coming week. So our weekly target for the for Euro NZD is found at the, uh, the yellow resistance at 1.6531. All right. So and the daily target is fine right at this blue resistance at 1.6330. And the candle also closed with a bullish momentum candle. So a strong force telling us that more outside will come right on this pair. So we want to look out for a buy on the Euro NZD. So we wait for the pullback to happen. Wait for the pullback, catch the buy entry on its way up and first profit should be taken before 1.6330. And if that level get broken, then we'll be adding up to the yellow resistance at 1.6531. So that's gonna be our overall target for the week. All right, but we must wait for that pullback to happen on the entry time frame right here before we can pick the entry. This is gonna be a good trade to look out for a buy. Euro NZD also has a very good safe top to look out for a buy. Euro GBP, Euro GBP, according to H1 and 4, this is currently by bias. So the weekly candle, we see the weekly candle close in green. So this tells us that we should expect more upside to come. So this is also a bullish momentum candlestick pattern. So we should expect more upside to come right up to the yellow resistance at 0.8510. That's going to be our weekly target. And the daily target is fine right at this blue, so blue resistance at 0 0.8454. And this also closed with a bullish momentum candlestick pattern. So obviously more upside is expected to come across 
sorry, on this very pair. So Euro GBP, look out for a buy. So going into our entry time frame, all we need to wait for is just the pullback and more so we have seen a break of structure on the entry time frame. So this is another evidence telling us that this is going to happen. And all the pairs we have analyzed, I have analyzed up to this point also as break of structure. So that is a strong one telling us that if the signal holds, then it's most likely going to deliver. So Euro GBP, look for a buy. Euro GBP, look for a buy. GBP USD. GBP USD, according to H1 and 4, this is currently sell bias. So coming into the weekly time frame, we see the weekly candle close in red, a strong bearish momentum candlestick also. So we expect this to drop further towards the blue support at 1.2674. Okay, that's going to be with the weekly target for GBP USD. And the daily candle, we also see this close in red and also a strong bearish momentum candle but right now we've seen this close right below is a uh, right below the daily support so this tells us that we should expect more downside on this very pair so coming to our entry time frame all we need to wait is just to look out for the wait for the pullback on the entry time frame and take your first profit right at this blue uh at this blue support and if price goes through that then we'll be adding to the next support all right so which is at the which is at 1.2674 so gbp us is this is also a strong trade to look forward to right so look for yourself in gbp usd nzd usd is my next target right here so according to h1 and 4 nzd usd is pushing down right here. So we should expect more downside. So with coming to the weekly time frame, we see this close in red, which are bearish momentum candle. So we expect this to drop further towards the yellow support at 0 0.656536. So while the daily support is fine right at this blue support at 0 0.6589. So this is obviously going to drop a little bit more before we can see any kind of reversal or continuation. So right here, we wait for the pullback to happen on the NZD USD cash the trade on its way on its way down and take the first profit before the blue support at 0 0.6589. And if that level get broken, then we'll be heading on to the yellow support at 0 0.6536. So NZD USD, this is also a very good trade to look out for a sell. So let's look out for a sell on the NZD USD. NZD card. NZD card is currently sell by us according to H1 and 4. So the weekly candle, the same setup we've seen on the NZD USD is what we are seeing on the NZD card. So right here, we expect this to drop further to the yellow support at 0 0.8350. And and the daily target is also seen right at the blue support, which is at 0 0.8407. We can see price is, is currently sitting at the daily support, but we expect this to uh, get broken and move down towards the yellow support right there. So until then, we are going to wait for the pullback on the entry time frame before we can pick any trade. So wait for the pullback and catch the entry on its way down and the first profit should be taken before the blue support at 0 0.8407 all right and if that level get broken then we'll be adding on to the yellow support at 0 0.8350 so nzd card this is a trade to look out for a sell it's a good one so nzd swiss franc according to h1 and 4 we can see the momentum is right on this very pair. So we should expect more downside. So on the weekly candle, we see this close with uh, a pin bar. So we should expect this to also drop a little bit further. So right here, we can see a significant uh, weekly support right here at this yellow 
yellow support at 0 0.6246. So that's going to be our weekly target. So the daily target is found right at this very point at 0 0.6317. So we expect price to also push a little bit towards this before we see more downside. So right there, NZD Swiss franc is currently sell by us. So we want to wait for that pullback to happen, wait for the pullback to happen and ensure the pullback does not go above the red resistance. And if it turns back right before the red, before the red moving average, I beg your pardon, then you have to take your sell trade and exit the first profit before the blue support at 0 0.6317. And if that level get broken, then we'll be eyeing the yellow support, which is going to be the weekly target, all right? So NZD, Swiss franc, this is also good to look out for a sell. USD card, USD card, according to H1 and 4, it is currently buy by us. And the weekly candle, we see this close in green with some rejection from the downside to the upside. So this is another signal telling us that more upside is most likely going to come on this pair. And if we can, uh, as we can see for several months, several weeks, I beg your pardon, we've seen that this pair has been ranging, digging sideways. So this tells us that we should expect this to also test this resistance once more before we can see a uh, potential reversal or continuation. So the weekly target for USD card is found at 1.2891. That's going to be our weekly target for this. So our daily target is also fine at the same level. Why? Because the daily, the daily resistance has been broken right here. So we believe nothing is going to stop this from touching the weekly uh, resistance. So since the daily daily resistance has been broken, we expect it to keep pushing up. So we go into the entry time frame, expect this to push down to give us that pullback on the entry time frame, then take your profits, um, uh, take your buy trade and take several profits before it gets to the promised line, which is gonna be the weekly target. So NZD, sorry, USD card right here is very, very good to look out for a buy. Look for a buy on USD card. So the last thing I'm going to be taking a look at right now is USD Swiss franc. USD Swiss franc is currently buy by us according to H1 and 4. Okay, so the weekly candle, we see this close in green. So we expect more upside to come. So for this, we expect this to also push up towards the yellow resistance at 0 0.9907. Actually, this might take three or four, five weeks for it to get to that destination, but that is the overall view for this. All right. So coming into the entry time, uh, the daily daily time frame, we see this also close in in green, and our daily target right here is found right at this blue resistance at zero point nine six four eight. All right. So we want to wait for for the pullback on the entry time frame and catch the buy entry on its way up and take your profit before the blue resistance at 0 0.9648. So guys, USD Swiss franc is also good for a buy. So this is what, what I have for you. So let's quickly have some recap on what we have analyzed, AUD USD, look for a sell, AUD card, look for a sell, AUD Swiss franc, look for a sell, Euro AUD, look for a buy, Euro Swiss franc, look for a buy, Euro JPY, buy, Euro NZD, buy, Euro GBP, buy, GBP USD, sell, NZD USD, sell, NZD card, sell, NZD Swiss franc, sell, USD card, buy, USD Swiss franc, buy. And the weak pair, according to this analysis and according to this strategy, the weak pairs we can be able to spot are Australian dollar is weak, Great Britain pounds is weak, NZD, New Zealand dollar is also weak. But the weak pair we can spot right here are these three pairs. So ensure you trade against these pairs. And the strong ones we can find is Euro is strong, USD is also strong. So I will advise you to trade 
euro across AUD, GBP, and NZD, and uh, trade uh, USD across AUD, GBP, and NZD, all right? But nevertheless, AUD, GBP, and NZD are weak across board. So you want to trade against those ones, all right? So this is all I have for you guys this week. And don't forget, if you are here to join us on Telegram, there is a link down in the description. Check the description, click on it, join us on Telegram as we have series and several uh, training free of charge. All right, so guys, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. So I wish you success this coming week. Let's trade accordingly, trade with the right psychology, trade with the right money management and ensure you monitor your trade. So I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now, have a lovely day and God bless.